So, uh, just backtracking a little bit. Once you have your wings constructed, now this is where the pieces of cardboard come in to play because if you need to, you can use these as a tool. I'll just bring the camera around. And you can see now that we can get the correct distance between the upper and the lower wing just by using those two bits of scrap cardboard and that's what I meant right at the beginning so I'm going to move on now well just a few words um, about the propeller I'm, I'm waiting for other things to dry so I thought I'd save some time and make the propellers so according to the instructions it says glue together 23 and 24 there is no 24 they're all 23 so you'll have to cut out 23 and there are four of those and you glue them together now I've never made a propeller before um, at least not by hand out of wood uh, so what I've decided to do is um, this I've got myself this is a, a, a two millimeter thread uh, a nut and two washes I don't really know what size washes they are I found and I just happen to have these in my collection because I'm a bit of a nerd and what I'm doing now is I'm gluing one side and then I'm going to twist them together and tighten up the nut so it will look like that now I'm just going to put that together because this is the one I've drawn out uh, so really I need to spin this round on this thread uh, until they touch and just wipe off the excess of glue and then there you go okay take that off you'll notice I'm using the PVA glue here I think it's wise to use the PVA glue throughout the build of this model because you need to adjust things and you need time for that glue uh, not to set uh, because if it sets using the, the zap you're just going to end up in problems now this is a, an allen key it's just how this this nut works it uh, bolt works it uses an allen key but most people will have a um, a spanner of some description so I'm just trying to tighten this up as quickly as I can without you getting bored and spin the nut the other side and then I can rightly show you what I've done to mark this out and it's quite interesting to have a tackle at the propeller you don't have to carve it out or anything you just leave it as it is uh, even more interestingly, I looked up the propellers for the, the Wright Flyer, which is in Washington, D.C. I ha have to have the privilege of seeing the Wright Flyer. I was there a few years ago, and uh, it's at the Smithsonian Museum. It's in the center of Washington, D.C. And I'm just going to pinch up that, if I can find some pliers, pinch up that nut. I'll probably have the right spanner for this but maybe it's call it a wrench for some reason I have no idea why anyway so we do that up and then hopefully the, the glue will be setting okay so I have let's just get my pencil if you want to make this look as realistic as you can make this the try the uh, trailing edge and this the trailing edge and then opposite the leading edge and then opposite there the leading edge make sure you put a center line down it and then do the same the other side so obviously that's leading edge there leading edge there leading edge there leading edge there so the leading edges are at opposite ends yeah can you see that focus 
So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to use one of my one of my pegs, clips or clubs, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to let that go off. And then I'm going to do the same for the other propeller. Um, let me just grab one of these. Come on now, I know you want to. Put that there. And then I'm going to let that set. Okay. Interestingly, again, on the right flyer, they rotated in opposite directions. This to, was to uh, counter torque. So you wouldn't the torque wouldn't throw the aircraft this way or that way. So balance out the aircraft. So you need to remember that when you're marking out. So you'll see on this one. Training edge is this side, and on that one, the training edge. Oh, it's the same, isn't it? <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Yeah, so the training edge. Turn it around the other way. Well, anyway, it should be the opposite way around. That's what you got to remember. So, there you go. Just made me realise what I'd done. So, anyway, let's clap that together. Now, as I was trying to say a few seconds ago, if you look up the propellers, Google the propellers for the right flyer, although they're made of wood, they are painted silver. I don't really know why they painted them silver. I'm pretty sure somebody out there can tell me but they painted them silver and most of the other works like these here the supports and everything and the engine block was painted black now the engine was made of aluminium the Americans like to say aluminum because that's how it's spelt and uh, our cousins well they speak frenetically so the, the engine was made of aluminium and they made the engine themselves and that was, they painted it black so that the competition, when they got to see this thing, would not realise it was made of aluminium to make it lighter because obviously aluminium is a lot lighter than cast metal. So I just thought I'd tell you that because if you come to paint, put any paint on this model, you can correctly paint the engine black and the propellers silver. You don't have to paint anything at all, but if you fancy it, that's what you got to do. So I will come back to this once these have set and in the meantime, I will carry on with other things. Hi, I thought I'd give you a different angle this time just to make it less boring. So I'm going to give you the good news and show you what to avoid. Now, when you come to do the chain drive, um, what I did, I put a two millimeter drill bit through this hole here, so everything lines up, put the white glue on, clamped it, and putting that drill bit through there, make sure you can't get it wrong. So that's got to line up, okay? I've used the white paper, by the way, just to uh, for my benefit, not for yours, because I can't see the video. So I know that this is in shot. OK, um, the next thing is the engine. Now, uh, you may notice there's one piece of wood there that's not supposed to be where it is. That's because when I trial fitted it, putting the round bit in, it wasn't wide enough. So I put a little piece in, but I haven't got each one of these are 19 millimeters and so i use a 20 millimeter cutter and it still came out a little bit shorter so i thought well what the hell anyway because i'm going to paint that black so just be aware that there may not be enough discs to fit in there this was very fiddly to put this together it really really was and i was so pleased i i i, I used the white glue because if i used the zap it would just gone wrong terribly terribly wrong uh, and of course you've got to put the chain drive on one side. Um, it's not too clear about this engine. So you have to figure it out. There's a little lip here that goes on the top. So it goes that way up. Yeah. So the chain drive will go on the right hand side. 
Now there's a part numbered 22. This is 22. It does not, the instructions do not show you where to put that. I figured it out. It goes on the opposite side about there. But I'm not going to glue it straight away because this has to be put into position and I don't know what that position is just yet. So I'm going to leave that off and put it in the box safely away. So I know where it is. Now on the back I've written in pencil 22. So again, let's reiterate, it doesn't show on the instructions where that goes. Now, um, I've done the propellers. Here's one I prepared earlier. And it's not turned out too badly. And as I showed you earlier, you draw a center line, trailing edge, which is the trailing edge and a leading edge, but L for leading edge and T for trailing edge. Then all you do, you get your knife, stand it up like this and carve that out up to the middle line. So you, you basically go like that. Okay. Then you flip it over on the trailing edge like that. And then you do the same to the other side. And then I have to admit that was quite good. I sanded it down and it's come out quite well. Um, I've resisted the challenge of putting it in the drill to see if I can get an airflow out of it. But I'm, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably does. So yeah, so I've done both of them. So there you go. Now, I've also skipped ahead slightly and come to these parts. Now these part numbers are I think on the plan it says nine then you have to put the number eights and the number nines on which are two different sizes and they go either side now these there's a, a a right way up and a wrong way up the longer side goes down on either end so number eight longer side down number nine longer side down and it follows the form of this bracket which I have yet to sand I've not sanded that yet um, and again there are two of those okay so moving swiftly on I'm going to push all those to one side now we come to the canard so obviously I, I put these together now this is not glued this just pops up like so uh, you said there you go, that just pops out. Uh, ooh, yes, come on up. Bit of a tight fit there. Now, there's a reason why I've not glued any of this together. And that is because I want to cover these in tissue. Now, the model is not built or designed to be covered in tissue, but that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's my intention anyway. So this is all loose, it's cool, comes away. And as you can see, it's quite a tight fit. So, and I didn't really have to make any adjustments to put all that together. Now, I suggest you put it all together by starting with this front bit here. And I'm just quickly looking for the reference number for that. I should have been prepared, shouldn't I? Uh, that's it, there we go. This is number 15. It doesn't look like that on the instructions, but that's number 15. And that goes at the front there, and that just pushes on. Obviously, you'll glue it. I'm going to glue this myself, obviously. Um, and again, I recommend using a PVA for that. And these are numbered 21, 21, and there's a 22. Now, I can't see any difference between 21 and 22, so I'm guessing. So this will, a little grooves at the bottom there, obviously that snips in. So that goes into there. Well, probably because I'm on the camera, it won't. And it's pretty well freestanding. And of course, you'll put that back in place and glue that. And I highly recommend using the white PVA. And of course that will go like that. And like that. Okay. 
that's where all the fun starts and of course that one goes at the back I'll let you figure it out and then of course these go on top now these are not in the center so they're in the you want them in the forward position this position and then it goes on okay the only adjustments I had to make was I need to put my knife in here just made that slightly bigger to make it fit because it's quite tight fit as it is and as I said I want don't want to glue these on right now because I want to cover them but I'm going to glue this into one piece so it's all nice and ready for when I put it on the bottom wing but I just don't want to do that right away I just want to get these done ready yeah I've got to sand these um, so when it all goes together it's all in one lump basically so this is the way you turn the page and it's showing you to put this together and put these together I will resist putting the propellers on just yet which from what I can see go in there I'm going to leave that for a little bit because they go in with a little tea piece looks like that whether you can see that or not anyway there you go I can't see the video right now that's tea piece and that tea piece goes through the propeller and into there all right like that so I put them in the wooden box ready obviously I don't want to lose them um, and then you have now this one should be ready now what do they call this they call this uh, assemble the steering wheel they they think this is a steering wheel I can't think of anything that looks less like a steering wheel. I have not sanded this yet but I just took it out the clamps with the glues dried in this is not a steering wheel this is for the wing bending if you like the ailerons so the chap lies in here and he does this with his waist so it's not a steering wheel <laughs> it's for the ailerons uh, saying that I did make the little man I put him together and now I put him down and I don't know where I put him I don't know whether you're interested in seeing him just yet where has he gone where has he gone I don't know a bit earlier still there you are uh yeah i got some crayons out and i uh, i colored in it colored him in and uh, put him all together and the glues is dried so as soon as i find him you got too far away got a quick look quick look uh, but anyway that's watercolor crayons that's what i used and i don't know what i've done with it no idea I've lost Norville right okay not the end of the world so that's where we are so um, while you're waiting for the next part um, I'm gonna glue that together ready for the wing and then what I will do is I'll cut out the tail end ready and then what I will do at some point I'm not quite decided yet I will cover the wings and the canard uh, elevators these are the elevators at the front that's what's called a canard okay and there you go it's uh, probably not the most exciting thing but at least you know what things look like yeah and that's where I am for now okay thank you